Right, we have 12 overlap fence panels to paint today, so I've decided to carry out a test whether a hand paintbrush or a paint sprayer will get this job done. So let's start off with the first panel which will be done by a brush. Now make sure you cover all areas where you don't want the paint to go. Here I've placed some cardboard under the paint bucket and other areas that is required. Now I've cut in half a dust sheet to protect the floor and the gravel board. Now I've used masking tape to cover the posts because I can easily strip them down and then reapply them again onto the next one. And the paint I'm using is Dark Oak One Seal Fence Life. Right, start off by clearing any cobwebs or dust on the fence panels by using an old brush. Apply gloves and give the paint a stir. Now make sure you use these types of brushes for the fences which costs only about a pound. Now this is not rocket science so you should know how to paint a fence. Just start off with the borders then work your way in from each overlap. Make sure you get them in the corners too. Now I've completed the first panel and the time it has taken me was around 20 minutes and my arm is starting to tire out. So this is when I test out the Wagoner Universal Sprayer W570 Flexio model. Comes with two container bottles, one for the interior and the other for exterior. Right inside you get a spray test sheet, a measurement tool for paint and other uses, customer care details if you have any questions just ring them up. I believe these are some sort of paint tin funnels that you can use, two extra replaceable filters, full detail instruction manual and step by step instructions to follow. Right here we have the 1300ml spray container for your interior decorating such as walls and ceilings. And here we have the 800ml spray container for exterior use on metal and wood. The gun itself is packed up with a powerful air turbine and doesn't weigh that heavy too. I say roughly over a kilo. At the top you need to select the right power whether it's wall, ceiling or wood and metal. To fix the container in, simply align it at the bottom of the groove and turn in till it locks. This bottom dial is to increase or decrease how much paint to be sprayed out. And the nozzle cap can be turned towards which angle you want the sprayer to spray. We also got a replacement seal, so just in case the one inside wears out, you can add the new one inside here. Adjust the dial in the middle, so not too high and not too low. Now can you see those little dots on the nozzle cap? That's your direction of spray. For example, right now, it's horizontal. And now switch over to vertical. Make sure the inner tube is facing back if you're painting straight forward or up. If you're spraying facing downwards, turn it facing front. Now to insert the paint, pour into a small bucket then into a funnel. Now if you don't have a funnel, just cut out the top part of a plastic bottle then pour in the paint. With this product you can use any paint. Make sure you have your safety gear on. Fill it near the top of the measurement. Dilute the paint by 10% if it's too thick and now you're ready to spray. Oops, I got it on the wrong direction. Let's turn this to vertical. This is my first time so I will need slight practice in manoeuvring the technique.
Now I guess I overused some paint. That's why it's dripping. Not to worry guys, just brush it in. That is one panel done with the sprayer and it's looking so good. Halfway there and I'm happy with the results so far. I'm getting used to it now, so let's see how long one panel takes. I filled up the container near its level and let's see how quick I can do this. So as a first time user, one panel is taking me as a rounding figure of 1 minute and 30 seconds. So let's do the maths. One panel brushed took me 20 minutes. If I brushed them all 12, it would have took me 4 hours. Now spraying one panel took me 1 minute and 30 seconds. Spraying all 12 of them would have took me just 18 minutes. That's less than brushing one panel, excluding the time you need to cover everything. Now that is definitely a big time saver. One container full of paint sprays just over one panel. Time to clean this up. Just make sure all attachments are off to give it a good clean inside and out. There are no electrical parts in here, so don't worry. As for the gun, that can be wiped off with a cleaning cloth or wipes. And talking to you guys about the gear I wore, well, I should have covered my arms too. As you can see, there are little grains of paint on me too. Now to clean or replace the filter, use the tool that is given to lift up the plastic cover. Once you're done with it, slot it back in. Same goes for the other side. Now previously when I started to spray, I discovered a fault. The container seems to come off its lock while I'm spraying. That's why I had to hold it with two hands. So I rang support and I thanked them for their quick response and found out that there is a thread broken which can cause it to unlock itself. They were happy to replace it so I will get that sorted out soon. Overall guys, I'm satisfied with this product. I understand spraying can get messier than brushing but it has saved me a lot of time and I wasn't tired out at all. It won't take much time to master the technique. Once you get the hang of it, you will fly through your tasks. Not to forget you can easily make your money back by carrying out some paint jobs. I'll keep you guys updated when I carry out more jobs with this sprayer. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.